Two weeks ago, four of us moved into a one-person apartment. It was pretty terrible at first, but now we've all gotten used to it. The point of this project was to get out of our comfort zone. So tonight, we're sleeping in the street. The goal for Project 30 was to get out of our comfort zones, explore the world through new experiences, and learn. We had three missions that night. First, find somewhere to sleep. Second, organize shifts so that we have one person awake at all times. And three, reach the top of Mont Royal, Montreal's biggest hill, and watch the sunrise. We decided to shoot tonight's episode on a Mars iPhone to limit the risk of the only camera we own getting stolen. So to shoot, Amar bought a selfie stick he was very excited about. Selfie stick. Selfie stick. Selfie stick. There were three main risks. First of all, getting mugged. Who would mess with us if I had this? Second of all, raccoons and cats are all over the place and might attack our food. And third, the weather. It was predicted to rain tonight and we were just hoping for the best. We started off our journey with a very positive attitude, which did not last very long. No one could agree on where the best place or sidewalk to sleep on would be. I don't know, I always yeah. thought that you could just sleep right here, can't on you? Bench? There was a dude sleeping in the middle. People were walking by. What, you think about image when you're sleeping outside? Halloween's. Yeah. Oh, piss. I think we should like... There's this park over here. You security best, and the best no, like, call is a park. It like hidden somewhere. Everyone is gonna be awake at all times, so it's fine. It doesn't matter. Let's go this way. Let's go. We're gonna sleep here tonight. There's security guy right behind. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No, we're gonna sleep in that park over there. What? Where the worst uh, idea I've ever in my life. So what do you suggest? No, anyone can see us there. That's like robbery central. I'd rather sleep in my own bed. A hotel. Alright, good night, Mark. Good night. Good night. Thomas, what? can we just jump and sleep here? Dude, I don't give a fuck if there's <laughs> glass everywhere. Like literally glass everywhere. What you have to understand is that no place is gonna be good. Yeah, but just look. We walked around the city for about an hour until we found some benches that we all thought looked okay. But as we were trying to fall asleep, we realized that we had chosen a terrible night to sleep outside. Rain started to drizzle and the temperature quickly dropped to the point that sleeping outside became a very difficult task. What the fuck are you doing? We're cuddling. Can't sleep. If I don't sleep, nobody sleeps. So we all had to snuggle up a little bit. The cold became unbearable, so we then went to regain some heat and waited. We finally decided to hike up the mountain early to enjoy the full sunrise over the beautiful city of Montreal. Oh my god! Wow! We enjoyed the sunrise and then all eagerly walked home. Walking back, we reflected on how difficult the whole experience had been and how grateful we were to have a home to walk back to. Have a good day and see you tomorrow.